G'day everyone, Rach here from Rara Stitching Realm. Welcome to my floss tube. Uh, welcome to new subscribers and g'day to those returning. I hope everyone is well. Um, first things first. Thank you to everybody who said do not throw out or give away the snowman. Stitch it on linen you like. Why didn't I think of that? Probably because my brain is still scrambled. Um, so thank you. Loads of people said the same thing. So yes, I will give that a go. When it gets pulled again, I will give it a go. I will, um, I've got plenty of fabric. I can find something that will work. I've got um, over dyed threads and I can get, because um, I thought over dye would probably be quite nice. I can get weeks here um, in my quilting shop and uh, in my stitching shop in town. So um, I thought I would kit it up into something a bit more user friendly. Um, I'll see. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go as you suggested and see how it goes from there. So um, I am holding that thought and thank you. Okay, so I had seven projects I was meant to stitch on between the last floss tube and this one, and I did. Yay me. Not outstanding, mind you, <laughs> but I did touch everything. Uh, I said that at Stitchy Group last week that I touched everything and someone pulled me up, Jill, and said, but did you stitch them rather than just touch them? <laughs> so, yes, I stitched. So, I forgot to take photos, so I can't really show you what it was like before, but I can. I know what I did. So, um, anyway, so where were we at? Quaker Street. I've got next to me my list of things so and I've got the whole pile of mess on the floor down here so um, let's see Quaker Street the so Quaker Street is by Marjorie Macy Massey and I am starting on uh, this side I for some reason I decided to do that I was concerned about my fabric um, and I think it's probably easier just to show you what I have done and try and fiddle around I have a tripod now so you shouldn't get bumped unless I actually kick the tripod um, so what I have done here is I have stitched that element and I have started to work on here I wanted to have something visually finished the next time I looked at it um, just to feel like I'm moving things along rather than just bringing lines down here so I worked on that and then I started doing down here again um, so so that is that. This is, uh, if you are new to me, Presidential Blue, Gentle Arts Presidential Blue, on, uh, I think this is 32 count raw linen. Um, it's 2 over 2, so it must be a 32 count piece. So that was the first thing I needed to work on. The next project out of the bag was the red and green. Um, and this is something that I got kitted when I was in the um, club at Country Sampler, the schoolgirl sampler. Yeah. So that is what it looks like. It's by Samplers Remembered. Look at the thing, not me. Uh, and I am in this top portion up here. And what I did was work on the threads out of the way. So I worked on, goodness me, now I've got to get to figure it out. So the C was the last uh, part of the F. I had done ABC. So basically I did all the rest of this here, the, the red letters and the lines. The gaps are because it's a different colour. I just decided to work on red. Um, so that's where we are at all together. You're a little bit further away now. 
Hmm. Anyway. What I found interesting this time around um, is, this isn't an example of it, the, but Quaker Street and a couple of others where I was a bit like, I don't know if I really want to stitch this. I actually enjoyed stitching, so um, it was quite good to revisit some of these after having a bit of a break. Right, next off the list was uh, Mary Wear It by Modern Folk Embroidery. And I've got the, the border completely done and I'm working on this top row of motifs. Uh, so... I had, oh, excuse my threads hanging down, um, the first one on this side was not complete, so that's now complete. The middle one was also not complete, I think it only had green like you see at the end, uh, and that is complete, and then I started on the one at the end. So, and I, I realised just how small, I mean look, if I can hold this in such a way, my hand fits in this space pretty much. I should get this finished this year. I really should be pulling my finger out and when it comes out, comes up for stitching to be cracking on and actually getting it stitched. Okay. Uh, things getting stuck in the zip. Right, next was the Garden Club. Blackbird Designs um, Garden Club, which I haven't touched for over a year because it wasn't didn't fall under my sampler umbrella. Uh, and I am on. Can I find it easily? Yep. So I have been working on part four, and if you've been around long enough, you'll know that I've made a mistake on this, and I have got. The basket is one stitch lower than the border, so when I come comes time to stitch the piece below it, I've got to do some jiggery pokery. I thought I just had this to do, and I was going to mirror it over here, not put the words in. Um, but I discovered that I actually still had the satin stitch in the basket to do. So. I got the little moth done and I got most of the satin stitches done. Um, the reason that there are gaps is because the symbol for that satin stitch colour is not... I can do this without showing the... So the symbol for that satin stitch is not one of these symbols. So I'm assuming um, there is a little typo somewhere. I can't find anything on here that says you such and such. So I'm either going to use what I think it is or I will actually ask in the Blackbird group um, and see what people have done. So just because this hasn't, well no, it probably has been choked because I did a whip parade. So that's where we're up to. Um, almost finished part four so I will get I will ask what that is and I might actually try and get it done so that the next time this pulls through um, I can start part five so that is the garden club I'll put that away afterwards after the garden club was oh yeah Hawk Run Hollow <clears throat> the village of Hawk Run Hollow so that is what it looks like and I am still on the second block. This is a block a year <laughs> at this rate. Um, why have I got two bags? Oh, okay. So what I did for this is I did the um, branches on the second tree on this side. Um, and again, I think I've made a mistake in that, like I did on the other side, but trees are not symmetrical anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Um, 
I've still got all the little leaves to do and the birds on top of the trees. I'm not doing the words up here. Um, there is a spelling mistake anyway. She realised after she did it that she had spelt Isaiah wrong and it's written on the bottom of the page. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to put the words in. So hopefully we can get this block finished some point soon. All right, and then after Hawk Run Hollow came Jane Plenderleaf. Again, this is one that came when I belonged to the club with Country Sampler. Uh, and I am right at the top up here. I think I had got the first uh, bird and um, flower motif done. So I haven't progressed much further on that really, but oh no, I can't have finished the first the first flower motif wasn't finished. So I finished the flower motif motif and added those uh, droppy down things. So not much, but at least I stitched on it. Um, and then the last one which gets one more day today is oh, a country winter. What sort of mess are you seeing behind me? Uh, <laughs> um, right. So this is one I have really been unsure about finishing. Um, but interestingly on, so this is day three. So Wednesday was day one. On, on Wednesday morning, I actually watched a video for a new to me um, floss tuber and I can't think who it is at the moment but they actually showed their finish of this and I look, I was looking at it going oh that's a country winter oh, is there a snowman on a country winter <laughs> so I got, I got it out and I was sure enough there's a snowman and it looked really nice and I was stitching on it and I was just like you're not so bad after all so there is where I am up to what I have done is the deer, the tree uh, trunk above the deer, and I have started on the border. Um, I have boobed. The deer has one uh, row more in his neck than he should have, which means this tree is one stitch out. But um, I am not going to stress about it because what's left on this side after that tree is just all snow and that can all be taken off the border so my next I can't see very well now my next job will be to do the border and then I can take all the snow off it um, so it won't impact in any way I'm not going to fluff around so it's still teeny it's on 36 count and I think this also came from um, country stitches I got that kitted up as well Oh goodness, I've got to be careful how I'm, I've got all my rubbish behind me. <laughs> okay, so um, I am pleased that I touched everything. Um, I had a couple of good days where I just um, sat and stitched on, because I had a few days where I didn't stitch, so I just worked on everything um, up until that point, and, and it was good. I've been shopping. Uh, I have brought a couple of uh, PDFs. I think that's the fit one. So the first one is uh, Merry Christmas by Doreen Jones, which is slightly bigger than a small, but I think it's absolutely lovely. So I brought it. Um, I really liked this when I saw it. Hands across the sea, and this is Mrs. Campbell. Absolutely, the border is stunning. Um, so I'm so grateful for all these people that do PDFs. Um, okay, I heard about. Um, I am up to date with Brenda and the serial starter for a change, <laughs> uh, and I heard through them about 1884 Stitchery, which is. A floss tuber shop and I can't think who it is off the top of my head um, so I went and had a look and I picked up a couple of PDFs from her 
So this is um, by of female worth and it's the ES Spot motif sampler, which is very pretty. And this is by Macintosh Samplers uh, and this is the Jane Harris sampler. So I picked up those. There's no plans to start any of those straight away, other than the Christmas things. Uh, then I took a trip into my little favourite um, Alan S in town because she showed this at the beginning of the year. Like she had got some in and I went, all oh, save me one. And she went, they're all gone. And I went, oh. So I got a message yesterday and she said, uh, or Wednesday rather, they're back and I've saved you one. So I pootled into town yesterday and picked this up. This is absolutely adorable. Uh, and I'm late to the party, everyone's already stitched half of them. Uh, and then she also, in that same order, had picked up a couple of other things that were on my radar. So, uh, what's it called? Red Letter Day by Teresa Burnett. Um, and there's some lovely samplers in there. And this, I have been watching um, Brenda do this, the Red Bird Sampler by Brenda Gervais, so I picked that up as well. And I had a quick nosy, something for Christmas. This is um, Leela Lila's studio. Um, Spirit of Christmas set two. I preferred, that she had both set one and set two, but I preferred this one. Uh, and this is Twin Peak, Twin Peak Primitives, Rudolph and Santa, and this tickles my fancy. Santa's pulling Rudolph on the sleigh. <laughs> um, that's 110 wide by 74 high. On 16 count it's 17 by oh, cent centimetres. So. so it doesn't look like it's that big. So anyway, so that is my haul. Alright, now we need to choose the next seven projects. I've got pen and paper. I've got the bag, give it a wee shake, and let's see what the first number off the rank is. Uh, number nine. I'll tell you what they all are in a minute. Um, get a pen on my thing. Oh, number 20. So that's a relatively new something. I need a dish to corral these. Let's put them on there. <laughs> That's all a bit difficult now when you're on a tripod. Number seven. Oh, free choice. Number five. I don't remember what number five. I don't remember what any of them are actually. I've got to look at the list. So number thirteen and number eighteen. By the way, I will be taking out, when I pull it, the quilting ball because I've separated stitch, cross stitch and quilting. I'm going to take the quilting ball out of here um, when I find it. Um, so, let's put those away before they go somewhere where I can't get to them. And I'll tell you what we've got. Okay, so, where's my list? Number nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just as well I'm enjoying stitching on it. Number nine is A Country Winter. Uh, number 20 is A Sister's Love. So that's um, Blackbird Designs. Number seven is, uh huh, Jingle. There we go. <laughs> we can try it out on something else. Free choice, I don't know what I'll do yet. Number five is Quaker Street. Oh, okay. So we've got that again. 
uh, 13 is touching the autumn sky. Yay! Uh, and 18 is Sarah Watson. Okay. Uh, whilst Iris naps. So I'll leave that open. Um, so that's a good selection. Yeah, I don't know what the free choice will be yet. Um, I will ponder that over a couple of days. I've got a, probably a week before I need to worry about it. Okay, so that is everything. Um, I've probably got this split into two videos now. I'll see when I turn it off. Um, I shall go uh, and I will catch you again in about three weeks and let's hope I've managed to touch everything again in the next three weeks. Have a good time everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.